So, we're playing the blues. The bass line I want to use is something called a honky-tonk bass line. It's really rather traditional. Your pinky is on a C, your thumb is on a G, and you play them at the same time. After you've played that, you move your thumb up one note to an A, and you play the C with your pinky again, and you play those at the same time. Back to the C, G, C, A, C, G, C, A, C, G, C, A. It goes back and forth, back and forth. There, each one is one beat long, so here's a bar. One, two, three, four. Starting with bar two. One, two, three, four. Now, to play the blues, we have to follow the 12 bar blues form. It's four bars of C. One, two, two, three, four. Three, two, three, four. Four, two, three, four. At this point, you pick up your hand and put your pinky on an F and your thumb on a C. And you play F, C, and you move your thumb up to F, D. So same shape exactly. It's two bars of that. One, two, two, three, four. Back to C for two more bars. C, G, C, A. A one, two, three, four. We're coming up to the last four bars. Now we're ending. We have the up to a G. Pinky on a G, thumb on a D. G, D, G. One, two, three, four. So that's two bars of G. Back to C for the last two bars. C, G, C, A, three, four. One, two, three, four. And you do it again. Here's the whole thing in time. Three, two. That's another C. Three, four. Here comes the F. Two. Now we need two bars of C. G. C. Now there are several things you can do with the right hand. Once you've mastered that and the form is easy, you can play simple chords for each one. C, E, G is a C chord, so you can play... And when you get to the F chord, everything moves. F, A, C. Back to the C chord. Is G B D, and you can go to an F chord if you want to. There's some variations possible. Back to the C. Other things you can do is add some rhythm. You can do the same C chord. Just important that you keep this quarter note pattern going without any changes. Now when you're playing the blues, it's not just a C chord, but often it is a C7 chord. We add a B flat to it. The seventh is one full tone away from the C. It's one full tone away from the root. So you can play So it's F, A, C, E flat. And again, it doesn't have to be in root position. You can play C, E, G or E, G, C, and it's still a C chord. So I could play it here, add the seventh here, and it's a little more close. Here's an F7. So adding the chords is a great thing to do. Another thing you can do is start to solo over top using the blues scale. The blues scale is C, E flat, F, 